Federal regulators uh, take the first step today in cracking down on energy speculators. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission holds the first in a series of public hearings on possible regulatory changes that could dramatically change the energy markets. Today's hearing marks a big shift for the CFTC. Under the Bush administration, the agency concluded there wasn't any real evidence speculators contributed to last year's record uh, rise in oil prices. The new CFTC chairman, Gary Gensler, says speculators did contribute to the jump, and now he's considering several changes that could have a big impact on commodity investors. Specifically, he wants feedback on applying position limits to energy futures traders for the first time. He wants to know if those limits should be aggregated across markets to reflect all positions. He also wants to know if exemptions from position limits should be allowed for anyone other than, quote, bona fide hedgers or real users of energy commodities like an airline looking to protect itself against swings in jet fuel prices. Now, some analysts say all you need to do is look at oil prices today to see that spec speculators are still driving the market. There's no question in my mind that oil prices are inflated. The question is by how much? $10, $15, $20, I don't know, but I can tell you uh, they do not reflect market fundamentals right now. So, who would be affected by the changes? Index and exchange traded funds tied to commodities, which have exploded in popularity and been blamed for artificially jacking up prices in recent years. Major investment banks like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley could also see their commodity trading limited in the future.